Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie Transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and well, back with a new unboxing video because I received mail again recently coming in from Poland is this envelope actually, which comes in from the Gustav Records label, a label you might be well familiar with if you have been watching my channel or like following me on Instagram for quite a while because the Gustav Records label has sorted me out with promos for at least a few years right now and what they do is like well, they started out with like a focus on kind of Polish music, Polish underground music and stuff, but have exceeded the, their realm kind of and are like doing a lot of avant-garde music, both from Polish artists and also from some other realms. They have been like going into like free improv, they have been doing like electronic stuff, they have been doing like kind of punk, post-punk uh, stuff as well from the Polish underground and Earth, some, some stuff that hasn't been released like years ago. So. Uh, Let's find out what they sent me this time and as this envelope is a big one I presume there is like uh, at least three or four albums in there because it's a heavy one. So uh, let's see um, what we got here and well at least two, probably more. Yeah, a lot of stuff in there actually. So um, four albums and four accompanying uh, release sheets actually. This one is empty, goes away and what we got here is well, a lot of stuff I might be butchering totally because I'm not like um, speaking Polish, of course, uh, as you might guess. So, uh, whoa, this is tricky. Let's start with the first one. Uh, course, uh, two track, or like two title CD, which I'm not trying to pronounce because, well, this is... Uh, Definitely exceeding my realm of even trying stuff. So, uh, Gustav Records 2205 uh, to be released on 10th of June, which is in a few days actually distributed by Sonic Records, Xango Music and Kudos in the UK. Seems to be a three-piece band with like drums, guitar, waterphone, whatever this is and bells. Um, and is, uh, well, named Fascia, which, well, Fascia are, uh, in German, Fascien are like some kind of muscle tissue, but I'm not too sure if that applies here. Um, an album founded as much by the culture of anxiety as by their personal dreads, which probably uh, refers to the three members. Uh, affirmation and the fear of ambiguity are two heads of the same desire and two driving forces behind the collected exercises and not giving up. So uh, the band has formed in 2008 and when I think about like Eastern uh, countries in, located in Eastern Europe and fear and dread and anxiety, I guess Russia comes to mind and uh, the things that are happening in the Ukraine. So uh, let's see if this deals with this and um, looking at the cover art, this one pretty much resembles a map in some form or the other so maybe it's like dealing with the fear of invasion or whatever so i'm not too sure but uh this might be an occurring theme in there mark is a promo actually so he looks like this and obviously has a kind of thick like um inlay in there as well seven track album uh, with a main piece spanning like 15 minutes Two others exceeding like the seven minutes marked, of course. Uh, so this seems to be a long one. Mastered and mixed by Piotr Soboski at Pasteka Studio in Warsaw. And it's all been recorded in April 2021. So the war in the Ukraine might not be a thing this album is dealing with because uh, this is more like a re uh, recent development. But uh, We'll see. Uh, Poland has a history of being like occupied and overrun by countries, uh, Germany included, so um, that might be a theme that applies here. The next one is, well, we, we, have, a, we have a release sheet here. Um, a two-sided release sheet actually with a lot of info. Mala Padubica Volume 4, um, a thing put together by four artists actually, four musicians from four countries, Poland, Czech Republic, Ukraine and Hungary. 
and they come in together to perform like an album actually uh, a lot of info about the musicians here so um, there's too much to go into right now uh, I think that's one uh, one thing that just occurs to me right now is uh, that Balash hopefully I don't butcher the name Balash Pandi is involved in here a Hungarian drummer which has who has been touring with like Venetian snares Otto von Schirach and the Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble, so which is like a bunch of big names, and this points into a re into a direction of that this could be dark jazz kind of, um, and so does the instrumentation. Although this might apply to a proper like jazz quartet, uh, saxophone, trumpet, electronics, double bass, and drums. Um, well, interesting uh, stuff. Not too much to get out of. Uh, too much to extract from this like uh, massive text here like uh, immediately so uh, I'm going to review this and like let you know about more uh, about more information I guess uh, this is the album cover the inside looks like this and this is the back the cover is pretty darkish on one side but also very psychedelic with all the horses uh, playing like instruments and stuff so uh well this could be everything i guess uh probably dark jazz but probably not it's also not too clear if that if these titles here are actually track titles or if they are just a like bunch of associative uh, terms put together on the back of the city to give an idea what this is all about so um, very ominous and very like nebulous actually when it comes to information i'm not too sure what to make of this uh, but i'm going to read with this on my website and the link as usual down in the description box below i uh, posted a lot of reviews today and i will because uh, well tomorrow actually because uh, there is much stuff coming in Next one is uh, Polski Piac. Uh, Polnoc is the title, obviously, or probably um, a band or a project I have reviewed before on my website because the, the, label, uh, the, the name is kind of familiar. Polski Piac consists of musicians associated with the Warsaw improvisation scene and the Lado ABC record label. I don't know, I'm not too sure about the Lado ABC label, but uh, that kind of Warsaw um, improvisation scene is well famous, I guess. Uh, Four, four people involved in here and um, there is like quotes from a review from um, for the, the, the album that came before uh, blues as if if as if Pendereci was uh, writing blues is one thing and they also quoted me here as you can see from one thing I wrote for the uh, first album which I'm going to read out as well. If Deepesh Mode ever decide to record to record an all acoustic version of Delta Machine, I personally would want it to sound like this one. Recommended instant classic, immediate favorite. So I uh, really loved the first Polski Piach album actually, uh, which came out I guess a year ago or probably two years ago, but I remember writing that sentence in particular. Ten track album, which looks like this, pretty dark. But also pretty classic, reminds me of some like uh, like cinematographic things uh, that have been used in the era of silent film actually. Especially when it comes to the back as well. I don't know if you have seen that movie where the people like uh, landed on the, moon and la uh, on the moon and landed in the moon's eye with a rocket. I, I don't know what the name is actually but um, it's been quite famous. So. Uh, very interesting artwork choice, definitely. And uh, well, Deepesh Mode uh, won't record a acoustic version of Delta Machine, of course, because uh, Andy Fletcher died. So R.I.P. Uh, I guess this would mark the end of the band as we know it, and probably for forever. Because I feel like uh, Fletcher has always been uh, the one balancing uh, balancing out the personalities of. Um, Dave and um, Martin, so I guess he was more like the, well, 
the gravity force that uh, held the band together and uh, I guess this might be gone with his death actually so I'm very curious if there's another Deepish Mode release or maybe some unreleased recordings so uh, we'll see how this goes. And the last one is RSS Boy 1 a Mythology also to be released on June 6th actually. A lot of info here as well. Uh, first solo album for RSS Boy 1 um, and actually this is that's interesting. RSS Boy 1 is actually a, seemingly a member of a group that was called RSS Boys and decided to go on a parallel solo path. So um, this is quite a concept to pick up like a similar sounding name to associate oneself with a band one has been or still is a member of. So um, actually this seems to be a thing that might be outside of the uh, techno-ish thing that RSS Boy or the RSS boys actually have been following. So um, we'll see what this is. Uh, not too much to grasp here. Uh, influences from some Iranian mythical poems actually and uh, other things. And also, well, the cover art does more, doesn't look like very Iranian actually. It's more like some Chinese, I don't know. Some, somehow this makes me feel like this is like a Chinese character like from the Chinese mythology or whatever on the front that guy with the weird teeth and the reddish face but I'm not too sure so I might be totally mistaken I'm not good with the arts. CD looks like this and the back looks like this so this is like four albums coming in from the Polish album uh, Polish label that is Gustav Records. Watch out for reviews on my website NightSelsC of course link down in the description box if you want to leave a comment or like or subscribe, I'm going to appreciate that for sure and um, spread the news about this channel. Uh, let's get this channel to the 500,000 views my website has gotten within the last year or so. So that would be great to like tenfold the, the viewership and subscribership of the channel for some reason. And uh, I'm going to go into editing mode right now. See you in the next one.